All right, welcome everybody. Aesop Grimm here, and this is an addendum to my episode 13. I am trying to upgrade the Ripple Blade. I went and I got the level that I needed, so I have the 11 strength now. But I am roadblocked because I don't have enough Smithing Stone 2s. Now, I've run into this problem before. If you recall, I needed Smithing Stone 3s. That issue is best resolved by getting the Miner's Bell from the end boss in this tunnel. This is called the Crystal Tunnel, I believe. But he had not done that yet, or I didn't think he had. And so I was waiting for him to get to that in his guide. So I already knew about this, but I hadn't knocked it out yet because I didn't think we'd come across it in the guide. Well, we did. And remember whenever my controller blinked out? It was in that episode. It's his uh, episode number 18 of his walkthrough guide that he went through and he, he got... Uh, I think that's whenever he picked up some of these sites here. Remember I was saying like, okay, he's already been here. I missed that in his guide somewhere. This is that section. He also comes over here and he drops a mausoleum and he, do he goes through and does the crystal tunnel. So I'm going to cover that right now. As usual, we're going to do this in chunks. I'll show you on the map though. We're going to grab a gray site right here. Drop the mausoleum, do the crystal tunnel. I'm departing from this location right here. This is where we fought the death bird. And I'm going to be quiet now so that we can fast forward the travel part. Here we go. Okay, here we are. We will grab the gray site. And I need to check that gazebo right there because there might be a smithing stone three there for me. Oh, smithing stone two. That's what I needed. Okay, well, we still need to knock this stuff out. All right, there's an ash of war right next to this grace site. This site of grace. And if you get too close to him, he'll flat disappear. So you need to be able to hit him from range. I want to try using Kukri's. There he is. But um, it takes more than one shot. Okay. That time it took exactly one shot. And I got the shield bash. So that's what we needed. Now we're going to try and bring down the mausoleum. Okay, I'm having to use some jump cuts, guys, because I've been running in wrong directions and stuff. I just got the Ash of War shield bash, and now we're going to go um, try to bring down the mausoleum. All right, so we're up top here. And uh, I wanted to tell you that uh, I read online that uh, Smithing Stone 2s drop frequently from these headless guards. I did not uh, get any off of them, but I did, I did get this Mausoleum Knight Armor. So let's take one more look at that, because I'm, I'm able to wear this and stay at a medium load. I'll try wearing this for a little bit. It's kind of neat looking. Kind of neat, kind of not. I don't know. We'll see how long I'm able to stick with it. Okay, for this here, I'm having to do some of this off memory because he actually, I think, addresses this in the next episode. He he starts out trying to do this. Uh, he messes up his first jump. He's a little bit frustrated. He pushes on to do the crystal cave. And I think in his next episode, he comes back to drop this mausoleum. We're going to try and drop it right now. So what we need to do 
is drop I think onto this one here and then here and this is where we'll jump from when he patrols close enough this can be pretty tricky so it might take me a couple times Actually, I think we're supposed to be on this one. I think that other one's too high and it'll kill us. Okay, that was too high also. And that's what happened to him too. Okay, we're back. I think I remember watching another video where a guy took all of his equipment off. To, to get as light as possible. And then made the jump. You know what? I better... I've got a little bit to wait for him to get closer anyway, so I'm going to pause you and find and look up a video. Okay. Uh... I don't know. Oh, yeah. Made it. Okay. So... We can re-equip. I don't like the other one. I'm going to stick with this, guys. I am. Okay. Uh, we'll run with this for right now. Okay, we gotta we gotta take out this uh, crystal stuff. So it threw us off, but the mausoleum is now lowered, and it'll stay in this state, I guess. The Remembrance Duplication menu, you can duplicate remembrances you've previously acquired. Duplication can only be performed once per mausoleum. Here's our two remembrances. I don't want to do anything with that right now. All right, guys. We're going to go do the uh, Crystal Cavern now. And here we are. He goes down. I'm having to remember, so I hope I, I remember correctly. I believe he just drops off the edge here. Uh, 
Dang it. I don't know if there was a stone there or not. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, I almost fell off. Okay, uh, we did not miss anything. So, on that trip down, I got everything that there was to be had. Okay, so obviously, oh, whoops, daggers, very bad choice here. So let's switch to this axe and two-hand it. And even though it's badly under-leveled at only a plus three, that's... That did a much, a much better job. Somber Smithing Stone 2. Okay. I think we just go to the next room now. Yes, we do. Hopefully we won't aggro the patrolling one. Another smithing stone too. Okay. Up there is, I believe it's a somber smithing stone three, and that's like a smithing stone two or three. But to get there is tricky. I've never been able to do it. I know the method. I don't execute it well. So we're going to go across this beam. And then make these jumps. Ooh, that, oh, dang, man, that was close. All right, now for the, let's see, I think this one's a regular jump. Yeah, okay, for this one though, not a regular jump. So he says a trick that you can do is to jump in place and hold your sprint button. Keep your sprint button down, depressed, and, ugh. You gotta, you gotta make the jump in time. Okay, try, try again. I think I'm gonna try and run off that little piece of lumber there. Okay, I got it that time. Smithing stone three. And somber smithing stone three. And then I, this looks to me, I didn't see it in the video, but this looks to me like another sprint jump. Come on, man. Okay. Maybe I can get off a backstab. I 
keep falling for that. The very next section is a place that might kill us. Uh, I noticed that he did not activate this, so I won't either. I'm not concerned about that guy, but these two down here, they are going to fight. That's the special wild strikes. This guy here, problem. Oh, get out. All right, that was close. down. This guy's a problem. Got to go down this way. And I think he said that that elevator takes us to the boss, but there's a whole bunch of stuff to do that's off in another direction. I might have to re-reference the video. I'm not quite sure yet. But we want to grab this. Well, we got to kill this guy first. Smithing stone three. Loot. It's a nice move set because the power strikes. That second power strike is like a back to back that's pretty quick. It unloads pretty quick. So you can get. If you can get a, a jump on your enemy, this weapon delivers three power strikes before the enemy can really have a realistic chance of responding. One, two, three. And then I just finished them off with light attacks there. I probably should have just stuck with the uh, heavy attacks. Eh? Okay, so we are gonna go down this shaft right here, this mining shaft. And we'll drop to this ledge and take this tunnel in. We will eventually make our way into this whole cavernous area. But right now we're just here to grab this somber smithing stone. And he just said this is one of the longer caves, so I think I'm going to make this uh, like an episode 13B. Uh, we will continue down the mining shaft. I don't think he hit that, so I'm gonna continue on. That guy across the way there, we want to not aggro him, but we are gonna need to take care of this dude here. Okay, I think I can him. Oh, off he goes. We want this, the smithing stone, too. Okay. 
Uh, there are two mages. Okay. He sees me. I don't know if I can make this or not. Ah, oh, that's too bad, man. There's me shinies. I don't see home. Oh, there he is. Power strikes for the win. And he says to activate this lift, but get right off. Okay. We have to take care of some marionettes. This elevator evidently goes all the way back to the start, so now we have a shortcut down here if we need it. Uh, and... We're supposed to go down here. All right, let's uh, hit these guys with Kukri's. this room maybe there's an ambush no grab that grab that dude's got an arrow in his head okay this room right here ambush there's a there's a guy up in the corner here there's a guy there, there's a guy over there, so. Wish me luck. Um, these guys, I think I can use daggers on. Where's the other guy? Oh, there he is. Okay. Let's get the light turned on. This is going to be the crystal knife. I need to research this because I thought this was a pretty good dagger. Let's take a look at it real quick. Uh, it's a magic dagger. Okay. We need to... Uh, before I forget, because I probably will forget, I need to let you know now, or I want to let you know, that I have slotted in... Luto the Headless, and he's at plus two right now. So we're going to get a chance to see how he performs. But first, we got to make our way there. We're not there yet. This room is full of people to kill. Uh, I need to get back to this. And a lot of loot. gonna hurt. I can't get out of here. There we go. 
All right. This guy's tough. That sucks. Uh-oh. Just made life harder on myself. Oh, don't hit them. Oh my gosh, I was locked on the wrong guy. Frickin' A, man. Come on. Grab all that stuff. Grab Shatter Earth. That's the spell they've been using. It seems nice to me, but Cowboy says it's kind of garbage. Uh, grab that. I think that's one of the dudes we knocked off from way up there. Uh, go ahead and... Might as well. Grab this guy and this guy. Digger's staff. All right. Well, that took some doing, but we got through it. We have five health potions. All right. Want to drop off the edge again because there's a somber smithing stone here. Like so. And there should be another one. Yep, another somber smithing stone right up here. All right, and then we got the boss fight. So uh, I'm going to pop this. And that was actually a bit of a mistake. Let me go to equipment and load up this guy. All right. You in trouble now. Oh, 
Oh, ho. strong hit. And Lutel, man, how about that? That dude's beefy, man. He can take some shots. And this right here, this is what we wanted. Smithing stone, miner's bell, uh, miner's bell bearing one. So the next thing that I'm going to want to do off screen is get some more glaive, grave glove warts to uh, level up Lutel. Uh, let's go give the miner's bell first. That's going to be through here, I think. Yeah. And there we go. And that should now allow us to purchase as many class 1 and class 2s as we want in the future. I don't think I'm going to need that right now because we picked up a bunch of class 2s in that cave. I also um, tried to mess around with applying Ashes of War to this weapon. I couldn't do it. So I don't know if I'm doing something wrong or if this is one of those types of weapons that won't take an Ash of War. It's not a somber smithing weapon, so I was caught a little surprised. Um, but anyway. Well, I took you for no matter it. Lay out your arm. Okay, here we go. Up to a plus five. So I guess I was at plus four. Followed immediately by a plus six. And uh, then to a plus seven, a plus eight. And that's where we're stuck for now. So Smithing Stone three is still a barrier for me, but we are at plus nine. So if I go to status, we do 192 damage at a plus nine. How does that compare to the twin blade? Let's uh, switch right. Okay, 192, 169, and it's a plus six. So we are plused up more. But you can see we're getting a plus 36 off of this one. That's the scaling. That's that's what Arcane and maybe some Dexterity are giving us. And off of the Ripple Blade, because it's an S tier now, it started out as an A, now it's an S tier Arcane Scaler. It's getting plus 82. It does not have any bleed on it. That's why I was wanting to apply an effect. We will rest right here. And go to Ash of War, and this is how you would do it. This is where you would pick these different Ashes of War. But uh, you can see that uh, the Ripple Blade cannot accept one. So I'll be... I am going to research that and find out why. And I'll uh, bring that information with me in the next video and that will be the end of this addendum this should be titled episode 13b as in bravo again i am aesop grim thank you for coming by the channel i hope you like what you saw i hope all is well in your neck of the woods and i will see you in the next episode where the story continues